boys and girls, good morning and praise Jesus. How are you? I hope you are keeping safe. My name is Teacher Damaris and today we are going to have our Sunday service. Do you normally have a Sunday service? Yeah, I know you do because every Sunday I have to follow up on our Sunday school service. So, today, welcome to our service. Make a space because you're going to have some moves. I will be asking some few questions. I hope, I know you cannot be able to answer directly. I cannot be able to hear you, but I know you'll be having so many answers. So, before we start our lesson, let's bow our hands and pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we want to bless your name this morning. We want to honor you as we start our service. May you be with us. Give us calm situation, Lord, because you're faith faithful. Give us our ear to hear and our heart to listen and may you mold us why you want us to be changed in jesus name we pray and believe can everybody say amen amen can i hear, can i hear a big amen so well done before we are going to have our song and i know you love these songs which says he got the whole world in his hands so do you want to join us and sing make a space move the table if there is a table and make yourself and enjoy yourself you're watching life tree kids <laughs> that song boys and girls I'm sure you did because it is God God owns our life he has everything even ourselves even moms and dads he has everything on his hands so let's get into our lesson today our story will be oh let me think these people they were crossing a big sea do you know this sea Yes, the Red Sea. And do you know something? These people, they got somewhere and they got stuck. And we are going to see how they trusted God. So our topic today is trusting in God. Do you trust in God? I know like now things are so hard. Life have so have changed. 
you don't come to Sunday school, you cannot hug teacher Damaris, you cannot see your friends in church, but all in all, you know what, boys and girls, we trust in God. So we are going to see how these people learned how to trust God. So, our reading will come from the book of Exodus chapter 14, from verse 1 going down once. And we are going to see how the Israelites were crossing the Red Sea. Do you remember what happened to the Israelites by the time they came to cross the Red Sea? Do you remember what happened? Yes, Pharaoh led them to go. And this is the time they came that they have to cross the Red Sea. So sit, close your arms, and listen to story. But before we do that, what do we normally come with the Sunday school with? Do you remember a notebook? You should have a Bible, and you should have a pen. And always, we should have our offerings. So you should have those things and sit down and listen. So let's hear what happened. We are going to read in the book of Exodus and see what happens. So the Egyptians were stubborn. Remember, Pharaoh let them, hit them, them to go. So by the time Israelites got in the wilderness, they somehow got stuck. And Egyptian thought, oh, these guys, they are stuck. So what will you do? <clears throat> and the leaders were like, mm -hmm. these people, we need to follow them. And they were like, what? How do we let these people go? Why do you think these guys changed their mind? Why do you think Egyptians changed their mind? And they start following Israelites. Hmm. Yes, you are very right. The Bible says they lost their slaves who were doing everything for them. Remember, um, Israelites, they were slaves in Egypt. They used to do everything. They used to cultivate. They used to cook for Egypt. They used to do everything. And that's why they were called slaves. So it came to a point that when the Pharaoh led them to go, he changed his mind. And he was like, why am I letting these people go? So what happened? The Bible says Egypt Egyptians followed them because they were like, yes, they were stuck in the wilderness. And what does the Bible say? Let's read from verse 5 and see what it says. When the king of Egypt and was told that people had escaped and his officials changed his minds and said, what have we done? We have let the Israelites escape and we lost our slaves. The king got in his war chariot and his army. He set out with all his chariot and including 600 finest commanded by the ofi of officers. Do you know what they did? They started following Israelites. What do you think Israelites will do? Can you imagine yourself in a situation whereby you have just, you are free to go and all of a sudden, these people that have led, led you and we told you go, they are here following up. Hmm. What do you think we should do? What do you think Israelites felt when he, they saw Egyptian behind them coming? Let's read in verse 10 and we see. Can I tell you something? The Israelites were so terrified. Let's read on verse 10 and here. The Israelites saw the king and his army marching against them. They were terrified and cried out of God help. They said, Moses, weren't there any graves in Egypt? Did you have to bring us in the desert to die? Can you imagine that? They had a good time coming, but now the Egyptians, they are here. And they start complaining to Moses. Remember, who was a Moses in the story? 
he was reading them. The Lord said him to read them, to read Israelites of the Israelite Lord. So, now here yeah, they are. They complained. They complained about the situation that they were, because they could see Israelites, um, Egyptians coming. And they complained to Moses. But you know something? They were in trouble. And boys and girls, can I tell you something? Even sometimes, even us get in some trouble. And you're like, hmm, now, like in our station in Kenya, and not even in, only in Kenya, the whole world, we're in a situation, we are in trouble. We cannot sustain rights, we cannot go to school. And maybe boys and girls, you're asking yourself, what will happen? Will I go to the next class? What will happen? What about our government? I know, every time, like teacher Damaris, I keep on asking myself, hmm, whenever I see our CS, of education, I keep on asking, oh God, has he come again to change the timetable? But boys and girls, where do we put our trust? Like Israelites, what did they do? They called for help. They called for God for help. And even us, when we're in this situation, when we're in trouble, where do we go? We trust in God. And how do we trust in God? We pray. Praise God, boys and girls. We pray we don't get scared. I know sometimes, especially our A started, uh, yeah, started A, you guys all did exam. Can you imagine? I know you are there waiting for the results. But where do we put our trust? We put our trust in God. Praise God. So the Israelites called for help. They didn't call for Moses for help. Who did they call for? They called for God. Boys, do we call for help for, from our parents? No. We call God because he has our solution. Let's see. After these people, Israelites, complained to Moses, what happens? What do you think Moses did? Do you think Moses also got terrified? Hmm. Let's see what happened. So, in first 12, it says, did we, we even tell you before we left that we would be happen? What would happen? We told you to leave us alone and let us go on being slaves in Egypt. It would be better to be slaves there than to die here in the desert. Hmm, can you imagine? Moses did, Moses did not even answer them. He didn't even answer them. But do you know what he said? He sent to verse 13. What it says. Moses answered, Don't be afraid. Stand on your ground and see, and you will see what the Lord will do. Praise God, boys and girls. In that midst of our problems, in that midst we don't know what will happen, boys and girls. What do we do? We put our trust in God. Trust in God. Don't worry about the other things. Yes? Praise God. So, what does the Bible say? Um, what the Lord will... Um, let me read it again. And you will see what the Lord will do to save you today. Um, you will never see Egyptians again. Praise God. Can I tell you something? That's what happens. We get so worried. But when you put our trust in God, he always has a solution. The Lord will fight for you. And there, there's no need for you to do anything. Can I tell you something? You just need to trust in God. The less the Lord will deal with it. He will have a solution. Is it that, that you cannot be able to go outside? Is it that sometimes you are in the house all day? You go outside to pray? Is it that you cannot go? I know some of us like swimming. Some of us like, why do you like even to go more so that you cannot go? Hmm. I know some of them, they keep on telling, Mommy, Daddy, take us out. But they can't. But in that midst of what we cannot do, where do we put our trust? 
we put our trust in God. So, the Israelites, going back to our study, the Israelites were so terrified. But what, what did Moses tell them? That they should not be afraid. They call for help. So, I look at Moses and I see how he had trust in God. He knew, you God, you sent me to Egypt. I'll put trust in you. And I know you are going to make a way for, for these people. Praise God. So, when we put trust in God, He always give us a way. Can I tell you something? Do you know what God told Moses to do? He told, He commanded Moses and told him, Why are you crying out for help? Tell the people to move forward. Can you imagine? God will always have a, a solution for us. You're complaining, He will always give a solution. Now, like here, Moses told God told Moses, tell the people to move forward. Why are they moving forward to, to, to add the Red Sea? Do you remember they were crossing the Red Sea? Yes. And remember, still, the Egyptians, the enemies, are still coming. So, what happened? So, God told Moses, lift up your stick and hold it out over the sea. The water will divide and the Israelites will be able to walk through on the dry ground. Praise God. So, the Lord commanded Moses, what are you supposed to do? Remember, Moses had a stick. So what happened? God told Moses, put that stick on the Red Sea and the water will divide it. Can you imagine? Hmm. I know most of us have seen maybe rigs, ocean, maybe of us, most of us have gone to Mombasa. Can you imagine God creating a way and that it came dry and they step on the dry space. Praise God. That's what our God can do. In that midst of what we cannot do, he always had a solution. Remember, Israel was, Israelites were was so afraid and they thought hmm, Egypt to how come and kill them. But what happened? God provided a way for them. Praise God. That's what happens in our lives. He always creates a way for us. So let's see what happened. So Moses did the same what God told him. He put the, uh, the stick on the Red Sea. And what happened? The dry land came. And the Israelites were so happy, exciting. Yay! I would imagine how they were so happy. Yay! Now we can cross the Red Sea. And they did. But remember, still, God wanted to show Israel, um, Israelites and Egyptians that he is still God. What happened? The Egyptians keep on coming. <clears throat> you guys, hurry up. I would imagine how the officials would command the officers. Keep going. Keep going. You need to get them. <clears throat> what happened? As the Israelites got in, on, the red, on the dry Red Sea, as they were crossing up. What happened? There, the Israelites came in. The Egypt came in, following them. And do you know something what happened? What does the Bible say? Um, the angel of God who had been in front of Ami and of Israel moved and went to near them. The pillar of the crowd also moved until it was between Egyptians and Israel. The crowd made it dark for Egyptians and gave right to the people of Israel. And the, so the army could not go come near each over all night. Praise God. Hmm. So what happened? They could not be able to, to, do, to come across the Israelites. Why? Because by the time the, Israel, the last person of Israel crossing the Red Sea, what happened? You know it. The water came back. Hmm. What do you think happened to the Egyptians? Were they, be, were they able to get to the other side of the Red Sea? Were they be able to get the Israelites? They were not able to get the Israelites. Why? Because all of them died in the Red Sea. Can I tell you something, boys and girls? The Lord always fight our battles. That's the thing that sometimes you feel you cannot be able to, to talk 
That's the thing that you'll be, you'll be like, you are so afraid to talk about. God always have a solution. And what solution? How do we get this, this solution, boys and girls? We put trust in God. Can you imagine if Moses didn't have trust in God, what could happen? Do you think God, do you think uh, Egypt will be able, Egyptians will be able to get the Israelites? But they put their trust in God. Praise God. They put their trust in God. And when we put our trust in God, what happened? Our Lord will always give us a solution. So boys and girls, we should not be worried. Don't be worried. Don't be worried what will happen. Will I go back to the same grade? Will I this this story of COVID-19, what happened? Would it come to to an end? I know it will. But what we need to do, we need to put our, our trust in God. In that problem that you feel like it is so hard even to tell your friends, go to God, trust in God. Standard 8, you trusted God. You know what marks you're going to get. Trust in God. Put your trust in God that you're going to get the right thing. Praise God. What lesson do we learn out of that ab about the Egyptians and Israelites? That we should not be afraid of what troubles that we have, we have or what is going around us. What we need to do, we need to, pr to put our trust in. Yes, we need to, pr to put in trust in God. And boys and girls, hmm. How do we put our trust in God? Mm -hmm. Do you know something? You cannot trust someone who you don't know. Can I tell you something? You cannot trust teacher Damaris if you don't know that you don't know teacher Damaris. You have never come across teacher Damaris. Would you come to trust teacher Damaris and to start telling her, teacher Damaris, my mom did this, my mom did this, and teacher Damaris sometimes my mom beat me. Mm -mm. Why? Because you don't teach a dama. The same thing happens to us. Can I tell you something? You cannot trust somebody you don't know. If we need to put our trust in God, we should know this God. And how do we know this God? How do we know our God? First, we talked about salvation. Yeah? So you should have that relationship with God so that we can connect so that we can have that trust in God. Oh, so, how do we get this confidence of trusting God? Yes, can I tell you? Mm -hmm. Tell me. Reading the word of God. Praise God. Because when we read the word of God, we see other people had the same problem that like they trusted God. Trusted in God. Another thing. What else? We pray. You know, imagine you cannot trust God. Yes, you read the Bible. You are born again. You have, you are, you're missing something. What is that? Prayer. We need to pray so that we can have that trust in God. Because how do we tell God our needs? How do we talk to God? Through? Through prayers. Yes, we talk to God through prayers. So boys and girls, as I leave you, I leave you in one thing that we put our trust in God. Yes, things might be seen very difficult, but where do we put our trust? Do we put our trust in our moms, our dads? No, we put our trust in God. And because of that, I have a memory first that we are going to say together. And I know most of us, and this memory first it still talks about trust in God. Amen? Amen. So, our memory first will come from the book of Psalms. Psalms chapter 37 from verse 3 to 4. Boys, will you help me to say it? What does it say? It says, trust in the Lord and do good. Live in the Lord and be safe. Seek your happiness in the Lord and he will give you, you are desi your heart desires. Do you want us to say this again? Psalms 37 from, Psalms chapter 37 
from verse 3 to 4 it says trust in the Lord and do good seek your happiness in the Lord and he will give you the desires of our hearts so boys and girls there we go we put our trust in God I hope you enjoyed our Sunday school service today as we normally do what do we do at the end of our service, because teacher Dama is still trust this is our Sunday school service. <gasps> yes, we have a song. After having the song, we give our offerings. Yeah? And what do you do when we give our offerings? We give it to mom. And I know mom and dad will send it to our church because we cannot go to church. church. So, God bless you. Have a lovely and a blessed week. Keep safe. I will be seeing you soon. Bye. channel so that we can make more fun dance videos. Bye!